Hello and welcome to Olympia Tutorials. I am Aparna Adhikari and let's start today's video lecture. In the last class, we had started with the chapter patterns and we had practiced few problems from this chapter. And now in today's class, we are going to continue with the same. We'll practice few more examples related to patterns. So in this question, what is the number of doll number 10? And as you can see in the picture, 8 dolls are shown. And there is a series in which you can see there is a repetition of the numbers 1, 2 and 3. Doll number 1 has the number 1, doll number 2, 2 and 3 is having 3. But you can see the series is being repeated from doll number 4, 5, 6. So just by observation, if you just go on continuing, doll number 7, I'll just write down the numbers here. 7, 8, 9 and 10. So doll number 1, again it is having number 1. 8 is having number 2. The 9 will have number 3. And again the series is going to repeat from doll number 10. So here our answer will be option B, 1. Very simple example. This question is again based on the geometrical shapes and you have to have quite a good observation of these figures then you can figure it out what will be the outcome, next outcome. Okay, so he, as you can see two set of images are there in this each figure. Now in the first picture you can see it is an octagon. And in the octagon, you have a square. A square is inserted in an octagon. But in the next figure, you can see the square and there is a pentagon in between the square. So what conclusion you get here? That the inner picture, it becomes the outer one in the next work. Now here you have a pentagon. In the next diagram, you can see that becomes the outer picture. And it is having a circle inserted. Just by observing the diagram, you can see next the inner circle. It becomes the outer part for the next diagram. Which is followed by a triangle. And here you have a polygon. Here you have a polygon. And so... From all these pictures, the option number D will be correct. Just by observation, you can find it out. And you can see there is no repetition of the shapes. So here, from all these pictures, option number D, you are going to get the appropriate answer. Now this is quite interesting. So first of all, here you can see the different symbols which we can see on the cards okay so this shape you know this is a heart heart shape <clears throat> this is a spade which looks like a leaf spade you call it s p a d e spade this is called the diamond diamond and this is the club which replicates somewhat like a flower. So patterns using this uh, card figures okay that are also very common in the exam. So here yeah, just by observation you can figure out what will be the next shape okay. So just if you go on alternating the images like you have heart, spade, heart, diamond, heart, club, heart and again the spade. This figure is going to keep on continuing. Last year you can see here you have a club. So after the club again it is going to have the repetition of the heart which will be followed by a spade. So option number B is going to be correct. This kind of examples just by observing them you can Easily solve them. It becomes quite easy. Okay. 
here you can see a sequence of alphabetic series of o and q you have to just uh, observe it carefully that how many times the alphabets are being repeated so here you have the repetition of o two times here q is repeated three times again here o is repeated three times q is repeated two times here you have o repeated two times q three times o again three times q two times so what did you get the pattern as 2 3 3 2 3 this is going to be your pattern so here 2 3 3 2 means two patterns are finishing here and here you start with a new series here already you have two os so next you are going it will be followed by 3q so here option number a is going to be your correct option q q q which will be again followed by 3 os in this way this pattern is going to be continued very simple question here you have a simple geometrical a uh, diagram and just by observing this figure you can just tell which will be the correct option we'll just try to draw it here there will be two lines here which picture is having two lines here so here you can see this option number a this is going to be your correct option again in this question in a similar pattern if you just observe which part is missing you will see that the option b it is going to fit over here the missing part is option number b in this question you can see a piece of paper is torn in which column did the number 83 appear so here four columns are there and starting from column number 4 the numbering is starting from 1 okay so just by simple observation and few calculation we can find out in which column the number 83 is going to appear so if you just go on continue observation uh, here you can see this column number 3 here you can see that this is a multiple of 4 Four is stable. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Four fours are sixteen. So this will become quite easy. So if you just go on checking the multiples, you will see that four into twenty one will give you eighty four. So twenty first multiple of four is going to give you eighty four. So if eighty four will fall under this column. then it's natural that the previous number that is 83 will fall in column number 3 so easily we can find out the missing number from that column okay so here 83 will be in column number 2 so you can also just go on continuing this series like if you write 18 then 19 20 21 in this way also you can go on continuing it okay but it is going to take some time but if you just observe the columns properly here it's quite visible that this is the table of 4 or the multiples of 4 are there in column number 3 and if you just see the 21st multiple of 4 is 84 so the previous number to it is 83 so 83 will fall under the column number 2 okay children then again here this is a figure based question and just by observing this figure you can find out which pattern is going to fit here and your answer will be this b here you are going to have a shaded circle and two triangles will be there here 
and the markings on the triangle is also necessary in which side the markings will be there okay so this will be your complete picture so option number b is going to be the correct one here you have a number series select the correct option which will replace the question mark or you can say the missing number to form the complete series so here if you see the first two numbers 134 and 245 so just we go on subtracting the bigger number uh, 245 and just you subtract 134 from this you will get 1 1 and 1 so the difference here is 111 111 you got the difference here similarly the next two numbers if you see 356 minus 245 you will again get the difference 1 1 and 1 so that is going to be here again you are going to have the difference 1 1 1 if you move on to the next number that is 4 67 minus 356 you'll again get 111 so it's quite clear that the difference between the two numbers it is going to be 111 so here the number is missing so what you can do to find this missing number just you have to add 111 with this number 467 467 plus 111 you'll get the number 87 and here you have 5, 578 so option number c 578 this will be your correct answer in this example you can see find the missing number if a certain rule is followed either row wise and column wise so here you can see if you just compare the rows then you will not find any such relation between the numbers but if you observe each column separately then you easily you can just figure out that what will be the relation so if you can see here you have three numbers 63 9 and 7 so 9 into 7 will give you 63 similarly if you look into the second column you'll see that 5 into 8 will give you 40 so just if you use the same trick for the last column you are going to get 11 into 6 that is 66 so option number b 66 will be your correct answer so that's all for today's class if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get all the notifications of my videos as soon as I upload them. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned. God bless you.